Hello Geminis, welcome to your tarot reading. <clears throat> so, first off, um, you have some really great news here regarding money. And I feel for many of you, the money is flowing in in a very abundant way. I feel like many of you have multiple sources of income. So for some of you, investment opportunities bearing fruit. For others of you, your main job and also your, your side jobs. You might be juggling two jobs. Um, they're all bearing fruit. There are a lot of clients coming in. There are a lot of people coming in soliciting you for your advice, your services, for your time. And I feel like they're compensating you very well for, you know, your expertise. And then I see for others of you, they say like family generational wealth. Okay, so this can be like inheritance. This can also denote like gifts coming through from family support, even child support is another thing I'm hearing all of that is coming in in a very fruitful manner and so I feel like money coming through for this month um, especially for the next two weeks is going to be very very prosperous and I feel that um, you know whenever things come in abundantly don't spend it all just start to save up okay not that you're gonna need it but I do feel that it's just a wise idea to save up and they the emphasis is on investment and it's on um, it's on generational wealth. So you might want to pass that wealth along to your children one day. So you might want to save up, save up for them to be able to go to school, save up for, you know, home repairs, even if that's something that you foresee in the near future. Okay. So that's a, a very big element coming through. And I feel like there's a lot of prosperity all the way around. I feel for many of you, you're getting a lot of visibility in the work that you do. So this is like speaking engagement. They're calling you. It's like every time you go to a speaking engagement or you're booked for a speaking engagement, they pay you very handsomely for your services and for your time. And then I feel like um, that increases or enhances your visibility. So even more contracts, even more speaking engagement comes through, even more opportunities for other people to, you know, like you, you might be solicited to be an ambassador for a specific brand. You might be solicited to represent or even promote a specific brand. So I feel like all around wealth and abundance is coming in very fruitfully. Um, a little bit of a drawback that I'm seeing coming through is they mentioned family. And this is across the board for the past three signs that I've done. Um, I feel for those of you who might be co-parenting with another person, okay, uh, there are issues here. I don't know if there have been children, like if you have children, if they're acting up at school or they're being picked on or they are being uncooperative in a very strict, rigid school setting. So, you know, the, you, you have children that are a little bit more independent, they're intelligent and they might not agree with the curriculum. They might not thrive in a very rigid home, um, schooling environment because they're, they're like beyond, you know, light years beyond their peers. So I feel like they might tend to get bored. They might be called out for behavioral problems or they might get picked on. So I feel like there's going to be some type of news regarding schooling and regarding, you know, like behavioral issues as it relates to your kids or other people's kids as they deal with your kids. So that's coming through and it's something that I feel you need to, you know, you might need to take some time off work in order to deal with that or you might need to, you know, be called off work or call in sick just because you have some family issues that you need to take care of. I feel like um, they, they mentioned, you know, children needing a, a very structured lifestyle, a very structured, stable environment. And so whatever you can do to curb the traveling, to curb, you know, your own sense of independence so that you can provide that structure for the child, I feel it's going to be a subject that is up for heavy debate between you, the other parent, and also family members. So I do feel they're saying like a village coming together to try to tell you what's the appropriate way to raise a child. And I feel like it's going to um, step on, they're going to step on your toes a little bit, but be patient through this process because I feel like they have some valid points. Okay. Um, I see for many of you, a relationship partner here that you might potentially reconnect with or have some dealings with. I'm seeing a fire sign. So Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This might be a past relationship partner, or this might be somebody that you've had kind of like a turbulent, tumultuous relationship with. So Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, Sun, Moon, Arising. And this might even be, you know, the father of the child or the mother of the child. And so there's debates, there's discussions, there's communication back and forth, and you're going to have to revisit this, revisit some things with this person. Um, in terms of other relationships, I feel overall, 
you're being shown a lot of love and a lot of appreciation by your relationship partner. I feel for many of you, you're involved here. I see a water sign. So this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They're saying the, a water sign from the past. So a water sign you might have dealt with left and then coming back as well into the picture. And I'm also feel, feeling like the two of you, you know, there's a lot of love, but it, it seems like you're seeing things from different perspectives. And there isn't a lot of agreement between you and this person. But I do feel as well that, you know, they... There, there's mutual friendship, mutual love showing up in the picture. And so if that's something that you feel worth revisiting, that's okay too. Um, in terms of career, I feel like there are a lot of options on the table. I mean, you can go, there are many, many paths that you can take. And I feel for many of you, you're in a job right now, a regular nine to five job, and you feel like, how long can I do this? How, how long before it gets, you know, mundane and boring? What's my next step? So you're you, you might have recently started something and you're just like, I don't know if this is something I want to do for the rest of my life. So it's more like, you know, reality and expectations. You expect it to be like lifelong and fulfilling. But I feel like as soon as you start it, you realize uh, it's kind of draining and I'm not really sure how long I can do that for. Or I'm not really sure if I'm 100% invested in it. So I feel like you're already looking at greener pastures. You're looking for a source of financial stability. Okay, so I feel like the money comes comes in a lot, but I, I feel like it's not something that you want to do long term. So you're trying to figure out, is there something else? Is there something more worthwhile? Is there something more, a little bit more consistent? So in the past, I feel like many of you, you know, you like to collect new experiences, but moving in and it might have been, you know, that eclipse energy from last month where you're starting to feel like life needs to be a little bit more ter um, like permanent. I can't roll around and just tumble around anymore. I need to set down roots. I need to have something a little bit more concrete and stable. And the, from now until the end of the year, I feel that that's what you're really, your, your aim is really towards, you know, achieving that. Okay. Um, I do see love relationships, uh, earth sign as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like you might be at a distance from them. You might be traveling. They might be traveling. There's like long distance communication. And I feel this is somebody that ha who has already, you know, laid down the laws. Like, this is what I want. Can you give me what I want? If yes, then we should talk. If not, then, you know, don't waste my time. I feel like somebody is giving you that. And I feel a very heavy earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And so you have a lot of suitors coming through and I feel like people are being very clear with you and this person inspires you to want to set down roots and just, you know, have a more stable life. Okay, so best of luck to you guys. I'll talk to you soon in the October reading. So I hope the reading has been helpful. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye bye.